What is up, guys? Let me let me throw you the meme for the day. Oh shit! It's a right wing meme. For once, the right wingers shared out a meme. It made me laugh. It's funny. It is. It is the uh, what? What's the? What's the? Uh, the, the, what's the fucking what's the what's the meme called I don't even know what it's from but it's like the it's it's the dude that's like poking on his head and it's always like ah oh, solutions blah 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 but it's got Clarence Thomas says release opinion on concealed carry before Roe v. Wade riots oh is that what the meme is called the black guy meme if I Google black guy meme and that's the that's what pops up. Speaking speaking of black guy, I really didn't want to go into this, but since since the dude had to call in last night and wanted to go into it, my ass was curious. Now he would tell you that the Smithsonian magazine is in on the whole cabal of to not teach the truth. But it was actually a very racist statistician who debunked sexist myths about skull size and intelligence using data, but didn't apply it to race, which would mean the same thing. Because that was that was one of the things that went through my mind last night. But that's one of, one of the reasons why I wasn't prepared to argue with the guys. Because like I don't fucking. I'm not trying to debunk race science. That's not my field. Roll safe is the name of the meme. Roll safe meme. Yep. Is the roll safe meme? I don't I don't even know what piece of media that is from. I know the old scientist and I ask because that's the that's the next logical question right if you're saying that the colleges won't teach something what's the reason what's the gain what's the who profits off of it I love how right wingers have all these weird conspiracy theories they're like, you know, how is anyone profiting off of green energy, motherfuckers? How is there, why is there some nefarious reason that scientists are profiting off green energy and selling us? It doesn't make any fucking sense. When the reality is, fucking ExxonMobil is the most profitable company in the history of the earth. They knew in the 70s that climate change was occurring and they fought it. They fought a disinformation campaign. We know this to be fact. So the meme comes from the web series Hood documentary. Apparently it was a BBC documentary. <laughs> wow, you learn something new every day. Warlord doing the uh, producer work over here. I mean, you'll At 134, he said. There it is! Sorry I'm late. Oh, I just got here myself. <laughs> what was the slick one that he... Okay, first of all, first of all, is this Lil Nas X? Or at least fashion inspired by Lil Nas X? He's, he's shirtless in a leather jacket. <laughs> He's cute. I'd fuck him. Brains. Oh, notice, notice that on uh, YouTube, that is the most replayed because everybody's looking for the meme. Hey, Reese. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I well, thank you, Reese, for the entertainment. You are one of the most popular meme formats, I do believe. What would you guys say is the most popular meme format of all time? Most shared. We have an answer to that. I mean, it's on the internet. There's data.
Oh, right, well, see, this is the top of, of 2022. I want all time. The 50 most popular memes of all time. I don't know if they use data to... That makes sense. That makes sense. Hide the pain, Harold. I could, I could see that being the number one shared meme. It's the uh, elderly gentleman drinking his coffee in front of a computer with a fake smile plastered on. Distracted boyfriend meme number two. I, yep, 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 yep. That makes perfect sense. Will, Will Smith crying is apparently number three. I, I do not feel, I, I would think dude, what? Roll safe meme. I would think roll safe has been shared far more times than Will Smith crying. What do I know? This is not Will Smith crying from the Oscars after he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. This is the much... Is this where he first found out that... Uh, like, I don't even know what, like... I've heard people say that Jada cheated on him. I've heard that they had an open relationship. I don't know what the fuck... And Sparkles would say, like, petition to get him to shut the fuck up and not talk about their personal lives anymore. But, like, I don't even know... I don't know what caused him to cry in this meme. I don't know where this comes from. Was Oprah interviewing him? He was talking about how when he was arrested, there was doo-doo feces all over the wall. It's going to be May. It's going to be, but is that one, is it's going to be May like it's relegated to just, you know, uh, April time of year, Michael Jordan crying. You would think that one's up there. Salt Bay. That may, I've heard his restaurant fucking sucks. Do not go to Salt Bay's restaurant. The steak is apparently way too expensive. Woman yelling at cat. Yep. That one makes perfect sense. Roll safe meme is number six. The disappointed man. That's from the Cricket World Cup in 2019. I okay. How does how does this? I I could see this being really widely shared, but if it's only from 2019, does it have the longevity to be one of the most shared memes on the internet? Evil Kermit. That's a format I have not seen in a while. I have not seen that one. It's probably like pre-2016. I miss you, Evil Kermit. The Doge meme. I would have... I, man, I would have thought Hotline Bling uh, was higher on the list than this. Leonardo DiCaprio. I, I, I can't believe this one isn't in the top ten. And he's got multiple... Uh, we've got Cheers and Laughing DiCaprio from Django back to back. But then there's the pointing one from uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> Leo, one of the most memeable faces. I don't even know what this is. Face swapped Sully uh, Wazowski. I have, I have no idea. Thumbs up crying cat. Pepe the Frog makes it to number 15. See, Blinging Guy. I would have thought Blinging... Because Blinging Guy has been around since 2010, 2011, 2012. Somewhere in that time period. It's definitely from when I was in college. I've never seen Monsters, Inc. Like, this, this, this makes absolutely no sense to me. Sorry, stop trying to cancel. You're, I am being canceled. I'm going on vacation. I don't even, I have never seen this meme, but it's, it looks to be, uh, maybe it's in a regional to India meme, which would explain why. Yeah, it's an Indian TV show. So it could definitely be one of the most shared just because of their large population. Stonks is number 18. Surprise Pikachu is number nine. This one. Uh, how is Surprise Pikachu not way higher? Number 20, Evil Patrick. Guys, I'll go through the whole fucking list. But I've actually, have I even talked about news yet? I've got news to talk about. 
I'm not going to read the thing about the race science, but if you if you want to read the race science, there is the Smithsonian Magazine about how the myth of cranium size and brain size has been debunked. Debunked. Why well, didn't I didn't even I didn't even know there were. Of course, there's going to be differences in body size. I should have asked the dude like. Well, we need to measure mine in your heads before we can have this conversation to see who's smarter. I've got a rather large head, sir. So by your own logic, I might be way smarter than you. All right, let's let's do it. This is an interesting story. I kind of skimmed over it earlier. I didn't have time to read all the way through. On the morning of June 10th, 1898, Alice Lee marched into the all-male uh, anatom- an anatomical society anatom- 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 anatomical society meeting at Trinity College in Dublin and pulled... Well, that's another thing, Meat Cakes, is I didn't... Um, I was not expecting someone to call up and try to argue race science with me. It is. It is never anything that I have debated with anyone i do electoral politics i was i was not prepared for that that's why i was like get producer dave in here more memes we got to number 20 on the most popular meme (laughs) oh shit Number 21 is uh, Maro Muhamaro. I do not know this one. This is from Pakistan. Baby Yoda, number 22. Ming's face. You know, I had to... uh, I didn't know who this was. I had to go in search of where this one came from. Maybe two years ago, three years ago. See, we've got the, we've got some memes from all over the world. This one, another one from from Pakistan. That like yeah, it makes no fucking sense to me, but I'm sure it's hilarious, kiddos. The Modi Fitness Challenge. It's amazing that I've not seen this one as much as I like to pick on Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India set out to inspire the country to hop on the exercise trend, but accidentally ended up hopping on the meme trend. The internet couldn't have enough of the PM's exercise postures, giving rise to an endless string of hilarious memes. Oh, Crowder's changed my mind. You know, that Crowder will long be remembered for this and only this. Nothing about Steven Crowder will have a lasting legacy other than this meme. I love you, Warlord. I don't know why you'd want to cancel me. I told you I'm going away. How can you miss me if I won't go away, right? Well, you've got a chance to miss me for a week, maybe two. Don't forget, do tune in to the Friday Night Freak Show tomorrow night. Sparkles will indeed be with me. Hopefully, uh, fat and sassy on uh, crab raccoons. That's one of my favorite memes, getting all fat and sassy, child. Exit 12. Ooh, Disaster Girl. How is Disaster Girl not higher on this list? Success Kid. See, Disaster Girl... Success Kid, they've been around so long. Now, granted, they've faded into the background, but I'm sure somebody pops up with these. Like, Because if I remember correctly, this girl's like full, full grown now. <laughs> and uh, her, her dad was a photographer. Because I've, I've, I've read like the, the backstories. Because like, also, like, I think this kid's in like college and shit now. I think so. Uh, 
I, uh, we are old. We are indeed old. There you go. We, his own fucking YouTube channel accidentally became a meme. Here is Success Kid. He might not be able to drink. He looks a little, uh, looks a little young now. Before, really, my whole life. Has but I mean, like, what? He's in 15, 16, 17, 18, somewhere along there. Me being success kid. This all started in 2007. We went to the beach because I had just gotten a new camera and I wanted to take some pictures of my baby and my family. Sam was 11 months old. He was about to eat a handful of sand like babies do. So he's like 14. Snap the shot at just the right moment. I thought it was- No, another couple years no under that. How profoundly it would impact- He's like 16. I posted- He was 14 when this was made. The same day I took it, it was immediately popular and got about 300 likes the first day. But then after that, I kind of forgot about it. Within a year, I started to see it online. There was a Photoshop child in the background with a destroyed sandcastle. And <laughs> I hate sandcastles. And there was <laughs> the caption, I'm a f*** you up. We yes! memes were because they were so new but the ones that did exist usually were either making fun of somebody or had negative connotations we didn't want that to be associated well they didn't they didn't really show memes that had negative connotations i don't think for anyone to take and manipulate i realized at that point there was no getting this picture back the nope 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 once it's in the the memosphere was the first time i saw it used with the green and blue little background <laughs> baby there and it was titled success kid and when i saw that i thought please let this version take off it was so positive and sweet the great thing about the success kid meme is that not well, it was always success he was always like he successfully destroyed the sandcastle successful outcome <laughs> it's about unlikely success achieving you know against the odds and that was really special because Sam was- Didn't know the answer on, on a test. The answer was in another question. Love those. So seeing it- Or I did 10 years ago when I was actually in school. My heart, you know, it was just, I felt like that was the most appropriate title for him. And it was given to him by the internet. Before long, we saw the picture everywhere. So all over the internet, advertising. <laughs> Obama's White House, newspapers around the world. It was something positive. Hey, hey, if you if you guys saw it in advertising, you probably have a claim to money. You can't just you can't just use a even if it is a meme, I don't think you can just use an image of somebody without their permission. Memes are one thing. I don't I don't know. What's the copyright law say on it? Once it becomes a meme. Can you just use it in advertising? Can you still can you make money off the likeness of somebody you have not cleared? I would I would think they would be able to uh, uh, get some money from whoever used the likeness. Even just the threat of a lawsuit would probably get you some money. That was out there that people really responded to. It's kind of hard to comprehend. But it's also like, wh what's the law on memes? This is a gray area. I do have a lot of mixed feelings with it. I would go back and forth with being like, oh, I wish I was a normal kid. Oh, this is like, you know, this is super awesome. And so to have fans come up to me and be like, hey, do the pose or, you know, like, well, what does Sam taste like or whatever? I'm like, I don't know. And I, I would say like candy or something, you know? Cause like, <laughs> I, I'm just a normal, lazy, <laughs> teenager usually just doing art and listening to music i've been doing art. Well, dude oh shit you're good too really? my dad has well been hell yeah you art. good thing you are the yeah. success kid and, then and you know i would look at his art and you know constantly copy it and stuff and then i would gain a certain style you know interest well here's the thing ray is i would assume that uh we we don't we don't have like settle law on the matter. I would assume that's a thing for the courts. There's been like no precedent. Congress hasn't addressed the issue. I wouldn't assume. But good for you, kid. I'm glad you're a success kid and that you're like uber talented because you can use the fact that you're a success kid to like get some eyeballs on your art. Congrats. <laughs> success. 
Good on you. Be like Bill. This one seemed really popular around like 2016, 2017. Quinting Fry. Fancy Winnie the Pooh. Sarcastically surprised uh, Kirk. And for those of you listening to the audio, we are up to number 33 now. Sarcastically surprised Kirk. Number 33. Shocked Tom. I didn't know that was Tom from Tom and Jerry. I guess when you see the when you see the front view, it, it looks weird. <laughs> Lonely Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I the YouTube channel that I do voiceovers for. They've done like fucking five videos on Pablo Escobar. I'm tired of talking about the Medellin cartel. His many lavish mansions. Bundled up Bernie Sanders. See, once again, this is one that I feel like hasn't been around long enough to have had the impact to be number 36. Wait, we had the distracted boyfriend was like number two on the list. What the hell? The distracted boyfriend meme. And now we get down here to, what, 30... 37, what's Binod? I don't get it. It remains a mystery to date how, uh, as to... So this is a meme of a meme. And it must be it must be something I do not understand. Well, I don't know what Binod is. The comment Binod under YouTube videos, it remains a mystery to date as to... Why and how it blew up on the internet is a popular and quite annoying meme, stealing the limelight from other popular memes as well. There was a video featuring funny and hilarious comments on the Slay Point channel on YouTube where a person named Binod commented just Binod on several videos. It became one of the most popular memes of 2020. I'm just going to go comment on fucking every YouTube video I can and just comment freaking. That's probably what he was doing then. He's got his own channel. He's wanting to promote it. And he just goes and comments on other people's channel. What the fuck has been up? There's another one. I don't understand what this means. Uh, it doesn't even tell us what country it's from. Damn, you lame. You, you lame 50 most popular memes list. Clickbait article I just found by binging something on the internet if the monolith had been found in India oh shit oh shit now I remember monolith memes and they were they were popular for what a couple of weeks they went away really fucking fast I did not see it say India sir why are you being so hard on me tonight what I ever do to you I like uh, if the monolith had been found in India. This this is hilarious. Apparently, they would play baseball or use it as a mirror. Pennywise in the shoot in the sewer comes in at number forty one. There's another one where it doesn't uh, doesn't say the name of the country. I'm going to assume it's India. Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man. How is this 43? How is this 43? This is like top 10 material. But then again, maybe maybe Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man doesn't resonate in other countries. I don't I don't see how it wouldn't, but maybe there's a, something culturally. At this point when when uh or from home and into the Spider Verse have been the hits that they are. I would assume everyone gets this meme. Crying Michael Jordan is number forty-four. Crying Will Smith was like number four. Is this a pigeon? How is this one not higher? And I would think this one resonates worldwide. Bruce's plan. Nobody, absolutely no one, not a single soul on this earth. Confused math lady. 
That's an oldie but a goodie I haven't seen in a while. Grumpy Cat! Oh my god, tartar sauce! Tartar sauce. Oh, and for those of you who don't know the story of tartar sauce, who, who like has gone over the rainbow bridge, you've never seen the pigeon meme. Oh wow! Like uh, a lot of the ones I've seen would be like LGBT rights, and it'd be like conservative. Is this an attack on me? <laughs> you know that that sort of thing. Up, virtual wrong. Pigeon meme is great, indeed. We've been we've been doing like the top fifty memes according to like I'm I'm taking issue because how is pigeon meme number forty five? I mean the first like three or four I'm like okay yeah I see this, but there is uh there has been a lot of discrepancy in this list. Like is this a pigeon should be way higher than what it is? But then again, Sassy said she's never seen it. Confused math lady feels like she should be a lot higher. And then we had some memes that were, you know, from like 20, the dude, the dude at like the uh, World Cup standing there like, oh, that was from like 2019. How, how is that one of the most shared memes already? When you've had Grumpy Cat has been on the internet for goddamn 15 years, maybe. But Tartar Sauce was apparently a really fucking happy cat. Was not grumpy at all, but had a, like, a brother or a sister that was incredibly grumpy. Me explaining to my mom rounds out the 50. Yeah, the Sanders one. Like, that, that did, it shouldn't have been as high as what it was. Me explaining to my mom probably should have been higher than uh, Mittens Bernie. Grumpy Cat even got a movie. What's the slander meme? Hold on, let me look it up. We'll let's see if we agree with L Warlord if it should be on the list. We don't want the definition for slander. Slander meme. Uh, is, is that Willy Wonka? What are you talking about? Go, uh, Jameson. Is a if video format, is it really, is it really, uh, a meme then if it's video? Tones. I, uh, don't recognize this. I saw Rampage destroy the uh, the door. I remember that happening. Warlord's got me. Warlord's got me. Homer Simpson! Dude, I have never fucking seen this. This is, this is some UK specific shit. You're going to you're going to get me fucking copyright on here. I'm not going to get my 15 cents. You know how I feel about my 15 cents on YouTube. The the TikTok meme where I think that was that same girl. Or they where they're pointing upwards and, you know, if you like this, you should try this. I don't understand what the meme format is here. I have not even talked about what we're going to talk about on, like, covering the news. Usually Warlord is the one that's like, news win, news win. How is it about slant? Is the dude slandering the wall? Whoa. I think that's from Don't Look Up, isn't it? I do not understand any of this. I, they like, 
This is Warlord saying slander to me over here. Hold on. Do you want me to pull up? I'll make the fucking... I'll make the, uh, the, the meme myself. Put your face on it. Put my face over here. Yeah, Ray don't get it. None of us got it, Warlord. You're usually spot on. But that's, that's something you Brits are into that we, like, us Americans are too dumb for. You guys, you guys have craniums that are much larger than ours. So we can't comprehend your high-level meme ideas. <laughs> I am not high enough for this shit. <laughs> Oh, those big headed Brits. <laughs> they got those gigantic craniums. I wonder if the dude last night would have agreed, would have agreed <laughs> that British people are smarter than Americans because they got bigger fucking heads. Some British people can't even get their fucking heads through the, the noggins and dick. <laughs> yeah. We are 35 minutes into this. I haven't covered any bit of news whatsoever. Haven't even talked about what we would be talking about on the news. Haven't even made a joke about the news. Oh, last night, last night I had a caller called in right at the ass end of the show. Wanted to talk to me about race science. <laughs> Curious Ask Me was, uh, I skimmed this article earlier. It was a very interesting article. I highly recommend you guys read it. The statistician who debunked sexist myths about skull size and intelligence. So she set out to prove that women who have, on average, smaller skull size than men weren't less intelligent than men. And she did it. But she was a virulent racist and a eugenicist, so she didn't apply her own goddamn findings to race. Because this was 18, 1898. Oh, meme news. Well, I mean, guys, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll think about exactly what this show should be. Okay, here's the, the reason why I cover so much hard news is because, like, I didn't start off that way. But then, like, I see people's critiques of, like, you know, there's all this, you know, celebrity dunking and blah, 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 blah. And, like, there's no substance to, to leftist media. And I'm like, well, I don't want to be one of those people. I, wanna, I want to provide information to people. I, I want to, and... and I, I would do a much better show if I had the time to read everything beforehand and really research it. But instead, like, you see me giving my takes live to reading this shit. Sometimes I don't even know what the story's about when we pull it up. Ray, well, since you asked, Ray, what happened on the news other than January 6th, oil executives met with the White House... Germany is warning of market failure. However, however, Business Insider is reporting that we may very well avoid a recession. Once again, the top of my mind right now is financial news because I see shit going on. And I feel like... See, January 6th wasn't even the top of my news tonight, but it's because the stories flow better if financial news is at the top. But that has nothing to do with... like I try to put the most pressing issue as my top story... Stocks have gone back up. Stocks have gone back up. Uh, yeah, Ger the thing that Germany is upset about is the possibility of Russia cutting off uh, gas to the oil markets. We're also going to talk about the Supreme Court clearly tonight. Uh, once again, this is a right wing meme I found. I found it on Conservative Mama, and we're gonna we're gonna watch a video from Conservative Mama tonight. And I think she's talking about guns. <laughs> 